Hello? Are you crazy? What are you thinking? Who is this? You can't make a bourguignon in 30 minutes. Bourguignon? This is blasphemy. Are you talking about the eau de cook? Yes, exactly. Well, I know it's going to be hard, but I have to at least try. That's the whole point of the show. This is unacceptable. You are making a mockery. Mockery? You know what? I'll show you. I just have one more question. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Is anybody going to get what this is a reference to? Probably not. Then I rest my case. Au revoir. Hey! He hung up. Man, what's that guy's deal? I know this dish is going to be hard to make, but I gotta give it a try. And you know why? Because... Welcome back to Overcook, the show where I attempt to make every dish from Food Wars. And this one, we've already hit a hard one, and we're only on episode three. So, this month, we're gonna be making, well, attempting to make, the beef bourguignon from Shogigeki no Soma. Now you're probably thinking, well, how hard could a beef bourguignon be? I mean, that's like an actual dish. It's not like I'm trying to make a pork roll, which is just mashed potatoes wrapped in bacon. No one's made that before. This is a beef bourguignon. Well, the problem is, Soma somehow miraculously managed to make it in 30 minutes. And so me, being the crazy person, thought, why don't I try to make it in 30 minutes? And I know I'm crazy, because if you look online, if you look on other people on YouTube who do what I do, you'll see that no one has done this. You'll find beef bourguignon recipes from Shogugeki no Soma, and I'll link those down in the description, but they all take like five hours to make. Soma did it in 30 minutes. So we're going to see if me, an anxiety-ridden rookie chef, can try to make something in 30 minutes. This is going to be a whirlwind. This is going to be stressful. I'm not going to set a timer. I'm setting a stopwatch. We're just going to go as fast as I can. Also, this is like my own recipe. Like, I'm kind of adapting some I found online, but I kind of came up with this one to fit the time restrictions of 30 minutes. It's not going to be perfect, and I do not recommend trying to do this. But if you do, and you do succeed, make sure to let me know down in the comments. But I've stalled long enough. We gotta try to make this thing. All right, we're gonna get my watch to turn on here. We're gonna go find the stopwatch. Start. Start. Okay, starting. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our steak going. Actually, I lied. First thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna get these pans on. Ah, uh, we're gonna go medium heat on these. We're trying something new, guys. Uh, we're gonna do two cameras. You can probably see I got my phone going. I do not have a lot of oil. All right, pans are heating up. There we go. A little bit of oil left. That's good. All right, now we're gonna get the steak going. All right, there's that. I'm gonna have to get a move on because I'm not that quick. Get this flipped over. Now, I'm, I do not handle stress well, just to teach you guys something about me. So this is gonna be very, very difficult. There's gonna be a lot of nervous talking and a lot of me just kind of floundering around. Okay, we're gonna set this off to the side. Next, we have to do mise en place on the vegetables. I did not grab any deli tainers. That's gonna be okay. We're going to julienne our onion. We gotta cut the bottom off. Come on. Cut the top off. Come on. Discard here, go to the trash can. 
I also have to remember that I got a camera over here now, so I can look to camera. Okay. Cut in half. I'm remembering the whole cooking thing. I'm remembering, I'm remembering. Why is peeling an onion the hardest thing I can do? Okay. Probably gonna speed this up. Okay, here we go. I got it, I got it. Don't worry, guys. Ugh. You think I would've learned after the pork roll how to peel an onion? This reminds me of uh, Kubo-san, which just finished airing. Um, there was a part where she was trying to cook and her cousin and her sister looked in and she was just staring at the remains of an onion. And she just goes, the onion, it's gone. She peeled the onion so much that there was no more onion left to be peeled. That is not what we're doing here. Okay, we're just gonna have to call, well, there's this little bit, there's this little bit right here. I also have to remember to talk. Okay, there it is, we're just gonna call that. Get this out of the way. I'm only gonna use half an onion, so we're just gonna keep that over there. And then discard the rest. Okay, this is where we can pick up some time. I just have to julienne an onion now. All right. That was not proper technique, but whatever. There you go, Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. I need deli tainers. All right, got a couple of these bad boys. These deli tainers are honestly a lifesaver. Um, I work at a bakery now, and we use these all the time. Saved it almost, okay. So that is the onion. Now I need to contemplate carrots. But yeah, um, we use those deli tanners all the time at my work, and so I'm just really used to uh, using them. I have to remember that the pan for the meat is heating up, so I don't want to forget to use it. I should be peeling this down here. Okay, that's peeled. Peel this one. Peeling carrots is not my specialty. Anything that's peeling, I'm realizing that I'm just not that great at. Okay, call that peeled. Clean my work area up. Okay. I am making a massive mess, but it's okay because you can't see it, it's on the floor. All right, so we're gonna lop the end of these, ends of these carrots off because they're not gonna look very pretty. And then what we are going to do is we're gonna do a fun little technique that I saw on the videos. Um, was it like this? Yeah, I think this was how the carrots were being cut. Um, uh, yeah, we'll use as much of the carrot as we can. I didn't really peel the top part, so we're just gonna discard. I need to be looking at handheld one as I'm calling it so that I can see, you know, what I'm doing. I got a lot going on here, guys. I got a timer going on. I got cooking happening. I got filming. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. I was going to film this video a month ago, but geez, you know me. I have to wait on things. Okay, uh, checking over here on our pan. Our pan for our steak is pretty hot, so we're just gonna go ahead and put that down in there. All right, it sizzled a little bit, so I think we're gonna be a-okay. Um, next, uh, I should probably grab another. How did this bit of onion get all the way over there? Okay, so. Stressing out, okay. We're gonna do the cauliflower next. Now, beef bourguignon does not traditionally have cauliflower in it, 
But in the manga and the anime, you can clearly see that Soma has cauliflower in his. Also in the manga, there was like asparagus, but it disappeared by the time of the anime. This cauliflower is a pain in my neck. I also have to keep an eye on the steak because the steak is going at the moment. We're just gonna, I'm gonna cook the steak probably medium rare because that'll be good enough because we're gonna cook it a little bit more in the wine later. All right, so I have tore this cauliflower up a good bit, clean my mess up. Trash is gonna stink. Okay, let us lop this cauliflower in twain. There it is. Now, I do not need all of this cauliflower. So I'm probably just gonna save the rest for later with the other half of the onion. You can see it over there. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda come over here. I'm just gonna lop over there. And then we're just gonna, uh, I really am not good with cauliflower. Um, how, vegans. Help me out. What do I do from this step? Do I just kind of like... Asking the vegans for help. You know I'm desperate. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of... Why does cauliflower look like a brain? Like, I swear. Um, okay, we'll probably cut a little bit there. And then we'll... Cut like... Um... Tear this bit out. Oh, hey, look at that. We'll just tear it with my hands, like a Neanderthal. There is cauliflower everywhere. Okay. Um, all right. The idea was to add the cauliflower a little bit later in the step, so I'm gonna grab another deli tainer. I'm still not playing to this camera as much as I should be. I also shouldn't talk when I'm all the way over there. So we're just gonna throw our cauliflower over here. These are some big chunks of cauliflower, let me tell you. This one don't even fit, okay. All right. Into the trash we go. I, you can't see the trash can, so I'm sure it just looks like I'm dumping everything on the floor, but trust me, I'm not. How are we doing on time? Oh, nine minutes. Uh, it's been about three on our steak. We'll give it another one. Um, so Soma specifically calls out to... Okay. I keep checking my camera because I can't figure out how to get to, like, record continuously. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to figure out. I've been doing this for, like, a month. I still don't know how that works. Anyway... If I'm talking really fast, I apologize. I'm in a bit of a rush. But anyway, Soma specifically calls out to have Megami make the garnish um, garlic mushrooms. So we got that going. Also, I have the onions and carrots done. So I should add those into our pot over here. There we go. I forgot what that was what that whole idea was. So we're just gonna throw our onions and carrots over there. They're gonna sweat. Our meat is cooking. I'm gonna, I need this. I need uh, this. Put our steak here. I wish the camera could be closer, but I wish the camera could be closer, but I really want to have like everything set up and I don't want to be moving the camera a whole bunch. When we stop doing the mise en place, I will move the camera over there because we'll just be working over there pretty permanently. And I also got the steak flip. I don't know if you guys could tell. You probably could. All right, camera one is still recording. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Uh, mushrooms with garlic. So we're just gonna kind of quarter the, I need to clean these mushrooms, don't I? Frick. Be right back after as I clean these mushrooms. There's 
no time! There's no time! All right, mushrooms have been sprayed. Also, I can use my phone camera to see how long I've been going. Okay, we're just gonna kinda, I'm not cutting all these mushrooms up. We're gonna keep those over there. Um, my knife is very, very dirty. We're just gonna kinda wipe it off in a towel. Made a bit of a mess. Again, we'll clean it up later. Okay, go there. Again, we're just quartering mushrooms because that's how they looked in the anime. We're going as anime accurate as possible in these. I'd better be if I'm making this in half an hour. Um, but yeah, we I definitely had to guess on a lot of the stuff here. Like, for example, most bourguignons will typically use celery. As you can see, I'm not using celery. That's because you can't really, like, see celery in Soma's dish. You can definitely see uh, cauliflower. You can definitely see carrot and onion and mushrooms. And if we're talking about manga, you can see asparagus. But we're just going to ignore the asparagus. I'm going anime with this one, even though I have the manga on full display. Um, even though this isn't a lot of mushrooms, I'm not going to chop up the rest of the mushrooms because I don't have a lot of time, as you might know. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, it's been 13 minutes. Almost half the time is gone. Um, okay. Throw these in here. All right. Uh, Cut that. Leave that. All right. Um, this knife has done all the work that it can for us. We are going to grab the Santoku knife. Very Japanese, very on brand. I'm gonna check our steak real quick too. All right, steak is gonna need a little bit longer. Right now I have to contemplate garlic, giving the onions and carrots a stir. I should have did that while it was over there. All right, I'm gonna be honest. The onions and carrots have gotten a little bit too much color than I would probably like for them to have. But you know what, say la vie. If we try to make this again, which boy I won't, uh, I will know how to improve. Uh, just again with the peeling. Why does everything need peel? Like, I swear. Like, can't everything be as easy to peel as, like, a banana? I have no trouble peeling those. But anyway. All right. I'm just going to have to smash it. All right. And then the paper should... There it is. See, isn't that easy? And you just kind of smish it. Oh, there we go. All right. A couple more. Okay. Garlic tastes really good, but it is really annoying to deal with because it is really, really small. I might have said this earlier when we were talking, when we were making the... Uh, the pork roll, also that one peeled really easily. Should have peeled it on camera, but the trash can's over there. Okay, push that over there. You guys are probably hearing the sounds of onions and carrots probably burning, but that's okay. All right. Oh yeah, those peeled really easily. I don't know why that first one was being so difficult. All right, so we're just gonna mince this garlic up All right, it's been 16 minutes. There's no way my um, other camera is still recording. It normally times out about 10 or 11, but I have important stuff to do. All right, my camera stopped recording because it likes to be annoying, but we are over here now. And as you can see, I don't know if you can really see this, but here we are. I should really switch the way that I'm doing this. I'm gonna have to flip that. This is getting too much. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit longer on the steak. Okay. I'm gonna change some angles up real quick, but when we come back, things will look a bit better. I need a production team! This is a lot. 
Okay, that's recording. Hopefully you can see me. I'm not checking at this point. I need a plate. I'm sweating. 18 minutes. Okay, we gotta go. All right, take that off. That's cooked. Who cares? All right, that's over there. Okay. So, as you can see, these onions and carrots got a lot more color on it than I would probably have hoped they would get on them. So we're just gonna, okay. So I'm gonna turn this down, and then we are going to add a quarter cup of flour, because I need everything to sort of become a roux. I spill flour everywhere, part of the course around here. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're just gonna, okay. I'm gonna put the flour up. Oh, okay. I'm spilling flour every step I take. Okay. We're just gonna go in. We're just gonna stir. Immediately becoming a root. Okay, here we go. This might have been too much flour, but whatever. Okay. We'll add some wine later in a little bit. Is it too late to say that I don't know what I'm doing? I'm gonna have to change the camera angle on that, aren't I? You guys, I'm totally cutting everything off. Um, yeah, BRB. You can see me just fine, I don't know what I was worrying about. Okay, so we have mushrooms to contemplate. Okay, we're gonna go garlic in first. We're just gonna go back into the steak pan because I don't wanna get another pan out. Mushrooms over here. Okay, so we're gonna uh, add some wine to this mess we have in our left pan here. Because uh, that is what the Burgundian stands for. Um, okay, so this is totally not the right wine. This is just the same wine that I used for the pork roll. I don't... I don't know wine, guys. Okay, stand back. All right. Okay, we're gonna go like that. Have to stir the garlic around. I don't have to get too much color on it. It's already getting too much color on it. I did turn the pan down below, so that'll help things out a little bit. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to add this meat back into this pan, but I'm just dealing with some stuff right now. Oh, uh, where are the mushrooms? They're over here. Okay, we are all over the place. Mushrooms are going in here. There's that. Eventually, they'll be added back in. That goes in there. Um, this, get rid of that. Okay, um, right, meat. The meat has rested for a little bit. We're just going to take it, and we're just going to... Nestle it back in there. Also, I should have said I'm using a steak. That's not traditionally how Burgundian is supposed to be made. Normally, they would use a brisket. Um, I thought maybe using steak would make it go faster. Also, we're using cauliflower. Come on. So, the whole point of the dish was to use honey. So, we're going to squirt a little honey in here. Now, I was contemplating of maybe, like, marinating the steak in honey, but... I didn't want it to burn as soon as I put it in the pan, so we're just gonna kinda go like this. Throw a bunch of honey in there, that's good. This is a, a bloody mess, let me tell you. This is not gonna work out. How long is this gonna go? This is gonna cook for like eight minutes, and that's not even counting plating. Uh, we're gonna throw in some tomato paste, because why not? Just to make things come together a little bit more. Squeeze out, bleh. Are you? Okay, get it in there. That was probably a tablespoon. And then one singular bay leaf. All right, let's at least attempt to mix this around, you know? You know what I mean? All right, so hopefully the flour is going to help the wine. I should have added only like a cup. I don't know why I added like two cups in here. That might have been a mistake. Okay. I have a mess. 
stir around our mushrooms. Oh, the cauliflower. When am I going to add the cauliflower in? Um, I'll add the cauliflower in now. Why not? We're flying by the seat of our pants already. This is a disaster. Throwing our cauliflower. Cauliflower is going to be very, very pink, isn't it? This massive chunk over there. This one over there. This pour the rest in. There we go. Nestle it all in. That, that's beef bourguignon. There it is. The way some of you can hear it in Put a lid on it so that it cooks faster. Probably going to turn this up a little bit so that it does reduce. Yeah, so the wine's supposed to reduce, become more of a silky, luxurious sauce. That's why we added in the flour to thicken up a little bit. Um, I probably had too much wine. It's been 25 minutes. I'm going to call it right now. There is no way this is going to be done in half an hour. I could have told you that like a year ago, right? If you would have asked me if I would have been able to do this. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen with the video right now. We're probably going to cut to something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Two, one. Hey, it's been 30 minutes. Is the food done? No? Darn. Look. Look, Soma, he is a machine. He didn't, and he didn't even just cook it in 30 minutes. He cooked it in 30 minutes, plus he played it in 30 minutes. Let's be real, Soma and Megami should have gotten an E in that course, but I'm going to finish this out. The mushrooms are done. I'm going to let this reduce a little bit more, and I'm going to keep the stopwatch going too. And I'll tell you guys how this took long this took me to cook. So I'll be right back when everything's all done. All right, so it's been about eight and a half minutes since you've seen me last and things look a little bit better inside our pan here. So we're just gonna lift it up. All right, look what we got in there. It's still bubbling away because I just turned the heat off. And so, yeah, it looks pretty good here. Now, if we look at our sauce here, we just take it on our spoon. It's kind of dripping off, but it kind of holds its shape there. You see, when I do that, it kind of stays a little bit. Ignore the dripping, but yeah. Try a little taste. Oh, I know exactly what that tastes like. But I'm going to plate this up. We'll do a little B-roll, and then I'll tell you exactly my final thoughts. So... See you then. And the timer officially stops now with 44 minutes and 21 seconds. So I was 14 minutes late, but I was messing around with B-roll shots and plating to look similar enough to the anime. I did a good enough job. The vegetables kind of got all over the place, but all right, we're gonna have to dig into this. Now, I did try it a little bit earlier, as you saw. I also probably should have pre-cut this. Now, Chef Chappelle was impressed when the meat was tender, and let's see if this meat is tender. Okay. I cut in pretty well. All right. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. A lot of wine coming through. I just spit a little bit. A lot of wine coming through. I'm not the best. I, I don't like wine a whole lot. But, however, initially I said I knew what that tasted like. This tastes 
like honey. Shocking, I know. But, I mean, that is the point of the dish. The point of the dish is that it has that honey taste. I mean, in the food gasm, Chef Chappelle and Megami are like covered with honey and then the Soma bees are coming at them. So yeah, but the honey, you know, helps with the sweetness. Whoa, that's kind of gross. Uh, I think that was only whatever. I got a taste of the cauliflower there. It's cauliflower. The meat, it's not that tender. It's a little chewy. Probably because A, I used steak, and B, I didn't cook as long as a bourguignon should. This, I don't think is a good bourguignon. But it doesn't taste bad. Like, I'm not making this again anytime soon. And if I do make this again, I will probably actually make an actual bourguignon. But, yeah. I'm gonna finish this because as with every oh to cook, this is just gonna be my dinner. And when I finish up with that and do probably do a little bit of dishes, we'll be back with final thoughts and a chapter breakdown because I didn't have time to do one of those because I was so stressed out. So BRB with that. Okay, so after finishing the dish, I can tell you that it was okay. I would probably consider it a failure, which that's okay with me. The thing with cooking and with a lot of things in life is that it's okay to fail. You just have to learn from your mistakes and push forward. And I think that's what we're gonna do here today. Maybe, you know, down the road, years down the road, we'll start doing remasters of all the cooks. And when we do, trust me, this one is gonna be the first one we come back to. Because I am only gonna get faster and better at cooking. Because even if we're gonna deem the dish a failure, I don't think the whole process was a failure at all. Because that was like the quickest I've ever done. Mise en place, my chopping I thought was really good, really fast. Um, also balancing the two cameras, you know, I thought I was doing an okay job with that. You know, I wasn't playing to this camera as much because I kind of forgot it was there, or I forgot you could see me because before you could just see my hands. But yeah, so I'm definitely getting better with this. So make sure you guys subscribe. But we're not done because right now we have to talk about the chapters. And there's one part about this chapter that I'm really excited to talk about. And that is the introduction of the best girl from Food Wars. Megami Tadakoro, my waifu. I love Megami so much. I resonate with her nervous energy a whole bunch. That's how I was probably this entire video, just anxious, running around like, oh, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, I'm making a mess. Uh. So I love Megami. Also, shout out to her in the dub being very Southern. Also, in like the subtitles, they make her like Southern too. Like. There's a part in the fifth plate, like way down the line, when they translate one of her lines as what in tarnation, which I thought was really funny. Rural dialects in Japanese just always translate to just being Southern, which always gets a kick out of me. But her dub voice actress, at, like for a little bit of the beginning, was like doing a little Southern thing. And it was like, no, don't, don't do that. But then she stopped doing it after a while. And Megami's dub voice is really good. Um, yeah, so this is the first time we see Megami and Soma cook together, and Soma really carries with his super speed and superpowers because Soma definitely has to be superhuman. We keep talking about it during all these videos, but like, he made the pork roll in like record time because there's no way that one lady was sitting there for two hours while he cooked it. And then Aaron, uh, like, he wasn't having her sit around for like three hours while he, you know, reduced all that stock that he had. And now here, we literally know how much time he had. And somehow, he pulled it out of his butt. So, a lot of the stuff from Food Wars isn't exactly that realistic. 
But I think that also goes to show like just how good Soma is. A lot of the time in shonen anime, like the protagonist can be a little bit overpowered, and Soma can seem a little overpowered, but he'll get humbled in a little bit. And I think it's a really good way to like power scale and see where everyone's at, because if Soma's good, and then he gets beaten, how good must those people be? But we'll talk about that much, much later down the line, because I'm going to keep making these, I'm going to keep cooking. Again, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss another episode, but until next time, you're welcome.